Uh, this one's gonna be like first 10 tools I would buy if I was starting over um, or as an apprentice just starting to get geared up. Um, these happen to be the five tools that I have with me at the minute. So the way I'm set up is like, so my boys have a work car um, and they keep like everything they, they need with them. Um, and then I just keep like a few things that I need if I'm going to do like a fucking hit list or something like that on a job. Um, so yeah, kind of a little bit asked for video, so I'll just run through it real quick. Um, just at this site picking up my drop saw bench, so we're in lockdown, I can't actually do any work. Um, but I figured I might as well make the most of it and make this video while I'm here. So this list is pretty much assuming that you have got like a reliable car. Um, there's no point spending a heap of money on tools if you still got to text your boss every morning and tell him you can't come in because your car won't start. Um, and obviously that you're pretty well committed. Um, the brands, don't get caught up on the brands. It's just more the object than anything. Um, so number one thing that you need pretty much on day one is your nail bag. Um, I don't recommend spending a ton on your nail bag straight out of the gate. Um, buy a cheapish one, it gets you out there, start to make some money first and then sort of look at what you're using and upgrade from there. Um, this is all very specific to framing. So my next item would probably be a framing gun. Um, depending on what your boss uses, if your boss uses a Pazload, then go a Pazload. Um, if he uses a lot of air and you want a cordless gun, then I'd go something like the Milwaukee or the Hikoki. Um, you're not going to have to like buy your own gas then, because if he's not using gas, he's not gonna, just going to specifically buy it for you. Um, third thing would be a saw. Again, don't get caught up on the brand. It doesn't really matter. A saw's a saw. Um, the reason I've got Milwaukee is because I can have their gun and their saw um, and have the, just the one line of batteries in my car. So all the other boys use like a mix. They'll use Hikoki, Makita, Milwaukee. Um, I use just Milwaukee just so I only have to carry the one battery. Um, yeah, it's just how it works out best for me. Next one would be a Cipro. Frame as a racer. You're gonna fuck up a lot. You're gonna need one. Um, yeah, there's fuck all else to say about it. It's generally, the only time you need it is when you've done something wrong. Um, number five, I was a little bit stuck on like what to suggest. Cause obviously like this is just barely touching the surface. Um, I'd probably, it's a bit of an investment, but these plate levels are amazing. Um, I don't use a 1200 level that much anymore. Um, whereas if you go one of these, you've got an 1800 level and a straight edge, but you've also got out to a three meter straight edge and level as well. Um, so it covers a lot of bases just having that one level. Um, and then for plumbing walls, obviously it's great as well. So yeah, that's probably my main three. Like on from that, you've got shit like your framing squares um, handy three step ladders um, and then from there you kind of you go up in price tag so you, then you're probably looking at your compressor and your drop saw your hammer drill most apprentices I know just buy a kit um, like a five or a ten piece kit something like that so they'll get their impact driver drills uh, recipro hammer drill all that way um, which as far as I can tell is the most economic way to do it. And then that sort of sets you up a little bit. And then from there, like, again, depending what type of work you're doing. So, yeah. So, yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Um, it's a fucking, like, you can go down the rabbit hole and spend tons of money on heaps of different shit that you don't use that much. Um, I'm more of an advocate of kind of getting by with the minimum, like, we don't use a trailer, we just have a dual cab ute um, with a couple toolboxes on the back and we still get as much work done as most people, in my opinion. So, it's more how you use it. I've kind of found the better I've got, the less tools I've needed as well. Um, I 
you obviously to an extent there's some specialty shit like track saws and that that you just can't get away from if you're doing cabinetry but for me it's always served my purposes pretty well uh, can't close that while that's there but yeah hope that was helpful and let us know what you want to see more of